In this video, we're diving into everything you need to know about OBD2 trouble code P0421, also known as warm-up catalyst system efficiency below threshold for bank one. First things first, let's break down what the P0421 code actually is. This code gets triggered when the engine control module detects a condition that indicates that the catalytic converter is operating below the minimum allowable efficiency threshold. The purpose of a catalytic converter is to use a chamber called a catalyst to change the harmful compounds from an engine's emissions into environmentally safe gases. When the engine releases harmful gases like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons, these gases travel through the catalyst and are converted into safer gases like steam, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. When Bank 1 catalytic converter efficiency below threshold, the ECM flags it as a problem and triggers the P0421 trouble code. Now let's learn what is Bank 1 catalytic converter. In engines with multiple cylinder banks like V6 or V8 engines, you'll have two sides or banks of cylinders. Bank 1 typically refers to the side of the engine where cylinder 1 is located and Bank 2 is on the opposite side. Each bank has its own exhaust line, and each exhaust line is equipped with a catalytic converter. So, when we talk about Bank 1 catalytic converter, we are focusing on catalytic converter specifically attached to the Bank 1 exhaust line. If you want to read more about any other OBD2 codes, you can visit our website obdcode.org for a full list of codes and their meanings. Now let's dive into the details of why P0421 gets triggered. The catalytic converter's job is to reduce harmful gases like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons. To ensure it's working correctly, the oxygen sensors monitor the oxygen levels in the exhaust gases. The catalytic converter has two oxygen sensors, one located upstream before the converter and one downstream after it. The ECU compares the readings from the upstream and downstream oxygen sensors. If the catalytic converter is functioning properly, the downstream sensor should show significantly lower oxygen content compared to the upstream sensor. The P0421 code is triggered when the ECU detects that both upstream and downstream oxygen sensors are showing similar readings. Just like the P0421 code, you might also come across a few other trouble codes that are related to the catalytic converter. For example, P0420 is probably the most common one. That one points to catalyst system efficiency below threshold for bank one. In simple terms, it means the catalytic converter on bank one isn't cleaning up emissions as effectively as it should. Now, if you see P0422, that stands for Main Catalyst Efficiency Below Threshold for Bank 1. It's basically saying the same thing, but sometimes it's used for different vehicle models depending on how they label their emission system. Then there's P0423, which refers to Heated Catalyst Efficiency Below Threshold for Bank 1. This code usually pops up in systems where the catalytic converter is equipped with a heating element to help it reach operating temperature faster. So if that heater isn't working properly, the converter won't warm up the way it's supposed to. And finally, there's P0424, which means heated catalyst temperature below threshold for bank one. It means the catalytic converter just isn't getting hot enough during warm-up, which can impact emissions and trigger the code. Now, where exactly are the P0421 sensors located? Catalytic converters typically resemble exhaust mufflers and are integrated into the exhaust system upstream of the actual mufflers. The oxygen sensors are strategically placed on either side of the catalytic converter. The upstream sensor is positioned before the catalytic converter, and the downstream sensor is located after the catalytic converter. Now that we understand what P0421 means, and where the sensor is located, let's cover how to reset it. Sometimes error codes like P0421 appear due to recent maintenance or temporary glitches, and they may clear up after an OBD2 reset. To do this, you'll need an OBD2 scanner. If you don't have one, check out the link in the description for the best scanners out there. 
Simply connect the scanner to your vehicle, follow the instructions to clear the trouble codes, and see if the P0421 code reappears. If the P0421 code reappears, it's time to look into some common root causes of P0421. Let's discuss some common root causes of the P0421 error code. The first cause is faulty oxygen sensor. Sometimes the oxygen sensor itself may fail due to wear or contamination. If the oxygen sensor is worn out, contaminated, or just not reading properly, it can send incorrect data to the engine control module. And when that happens, the ECM might think the catalytic converter isn't doing its job, even if it's totally fine. So sometimes, it's not the converter that's failing, it's the sensor feeding it bad info. The next cause is faulty oxygen sensor heater circuit. Oxygen sensors need to get hot to work properly. I'm talking around 600 degrees Fahrenheit or more, and they need to reach that temperature pretty quickly, especially during a cold start. That's why many O2 sensors come with a built-in heater. But if that heater circuit goes bad, the sensor might not heat up fast enough, or at all. And if it's not hot, it can't give accurate readings. That throws off the ECM's ability to measure how well the catalytic converter is performing, which could easily lead to a P0421 code being triggered, even if the converter itself is perfectly fine. The third cause is defective sensor wiring or circuit problems. Oxygen sensors rely on a clean, uninterrupted electrical connection to send accurate signals back to the ECU. But if there's a blown fuse, a broken wire, or even a corroded connector, that signal can get distorted or lost altogether. When the ECU stops receiving reliable data from the O2 sensor, it can't properly measure the catalytic converter's efficiency during warm-up. That confusion often results in the ECU flagging a P0421 code, even if your catalytic converter is still doing its job. The fourth cause is inefficient catalytic converter. Over time, the catalytic converter can become clogged, contaminated, or simply wear out. And when that happens, it just doesn't do its job like it used to. It stops breaking down harmful emissions effectively, and the oxygen sensors notice that change. As those sensors pick up on the drop in efficiency, especially during that crucial warm-up phase, they send signals to the ECU. And when the ECU realizes that the catalytic converter isn't reducing emissions like it should, it triggers the P0421 code. The fifth cause is a bad spark plug. Now, it might sound unrelated at first, but stick with me. This actually makes a lot of sense. If a spark plug is faulty or just plain worn out, it won't ignite the air fuel mixture in the engine properly. And when combustion doesn't happen the way it's supposed to, some of that fuel, and even oxygen, ends up going out the exhaust unburned. What does that mean for your catalytic converter? Well, the oxygen sensors pick up on those unusual exhaust gases, and that throws off the ECU. The computer thinks the catalytic converter isn't doing its job efficiently, especially during that warm-up phase, and boom, it sets off the P0421 code. The sixth cause is cylinder misfire. Basically, the air-fuel mixture inside the cylinder doesn't ignite the way it should. Instead of burning up inside the combustion chamber, that mixture gets pushed out, unburnt, straight into the exhaust system. Now that's a big problem for your catalytic converter. It's only designed to clean up the byproducts of normal combustion, not raw fuel and oxygen. So when it suddenly has to deal with all that extra junk, it throws off the efficiency, especially during the warm-up phase. And when that efficiency dips below the threshold, the ECM picks up on it and flags it with the P0421 code. The seventh cause is a leaking fuel injector or high fuel pressure. If a fuel injector is leaking, it keeps spraying fuel into the combustion chamber even when the engine doesn't need it. And if the fuel pressure is too high, it ends up forcing extra fuel into the engine. In both cases, you've got way more fuel in the system than what's actually required for proper combustion. Well, that excess fuel doesn't burn completely, and instead, it travels right into the exhaust system. Over time, this overload of unburnt fuel can lead to a clogged catalytic converter.
and when that converter gets clogged up, it struggles to neutralize all those harmful gases. The efficiency drops, especially during warm-up, and bam, your ECM catches it and throws out the P0421 troubleshoot.